Hello everyone, this is Mesolite Visual. Today's tutorial is based on the use of graphic overrides to set out uh, the line weights uh, without using pen sets in ArchiCAD. This assignment will allow all, all your elements or, of the same type to have the same line weights without having to set out uh, the line types or pen sets individually by going to your settings of the individual object or element so for example what i'm trying to say is for furniture if you want to change your line weights or pen sets you have to go to settings and change each and individual uh, element in your drawing uh, individually and that can be time consuming so by using a graphic overrides it can reduce uh, the time of uh, having to set out all line weights uh, individually so for you to do that we are going to use graphic overrides and to access graphic overrides you go to document and under documents you go to the graphic overrides and then you select your graphic overrides combination so this page will pop out and from there you simply create your new graphic override combination and you give it a name so after having given it a new name you can select ok from there our next stage is now creating our new uh, rules that controls all, all the line weights in our drawing. So for that, you go to edit rules and this page will pop out and then you start now creating a, a rules that will control the line weights of your drawing. So in order to do that, you are going to select new and then our first rule, we want to select the rule that will be controlling the line weights of our walls. So, just simply going to name it War War Rule. Then you select from there, you go to the criteria. Under criteria, uh, you set out now the value of your element type. So, for our element type is Walls, under Walls. So, you select Walls, and then from there, you now set out the line type of your walls. If you want a solid wall. If you want a dash, you can select the type of line that you wish for your element to be controlled by. From there, you check out the, the line or the, the line weight of your drawing. Then you set out uh, looking at the millimeters, the thickness of your line weight for walls. I can put it on 0.4. And then you check out the fuel box that will represent the fuel of your wall. Then also you check out all the override like type fuel types so cut fuel cover fuse. Our next stage now is that you select uh, the, the fuel background or the fuel background paint. For in this case, on our wall, we. We'll we don't require to select uh, the background of our, our pen uh, or the fuel background. So you move on to, sell, uh, to create the new rule, which is now uh, the cut fuel of our hedge for our walls that will control now the line weights of our uh, hedge. From there, you select the rule, which is again under wall. Then you select uh, the the line weight for that, which is going to be we want it to be 0 0.1, and then the fuel type to be brick, and then in this case we need the fuel for foreground pen and we select also this one and we also check our fuel backgrounds 
uh, tabs. After having done that, you go on to create again another set of rules that are all in your drawings. For our next stage, we are going to look now for all furniture objects or all objects in our drawing. So, furniture or objects. So this rule will control all objects, all elements that are under objects in our drawing. So under the criteria, you now select uh, object. So all objects in our drawing will be controlled uh, through this type. So our line weight is to be solid. Our pen set, we select an appropriate pen set, which is 0 0.09 millimeters. And our fuel type, we don't require our fuel type. We want it to be empty and also including our fuel background pens. Then from there, we create now rules for all annotation uh, elements which includes uh, measurements and uh, all uh, any annotation included in our drawing so from that we create a criteria for that we go select our dimension so we want also dimension and uh, annotation any text or any level in our drawing so we are going to create again another uh, criteria and we select text then we create again another crit criteria for our labels then from there we change our line type, we want it to be solid, our line pen or text pen, we want it again to be 0 0.09 and we don't require any fuel for this, so it will be okay from here. We create now for all slabs and beams. So under our criteria, we select our slab and then we add again another criteria that will control uh, our beams and then we set out all our line weights and everything. We want it to be solid and to be uh, 0 0.05 and also, we don't require a few type of background view. Or, for, sl for slabs and beams that are controlled by concrete, so we can select concrete. And then, we create a new rule from there. Now representing all openings, which includes the doors and windows. So we're going to select our door. We add again, follow the same process, the criteria for controlling now also the windows. And select our line type. We can put it at 0 0.2 and our fuel will be empty fuel 
and then we also select a few for background pens and now lastly in our drawing in this current drawing that we're using we are now selecting for markers and uh, or elevation markers and section markers so We again follow the same process, setting out our criteria to be involved that are going to be controlled by this rule. And then setting our line types. For this we require a dashed line, and then for a line uh, pen we can use uh, the 0 0.1 and our view type we don't require a view type we can uncheck our view type then our full background pen we can use again the gray and uh, that's it so after having done this we can easily click ok then we go back to now to this page then we add now the rules that will control or uh, this graphic override that we've just created so we're gonna start with the the wall then the cut view that call for our wall And openings annotation furniture elevation and section markers. and then the slabs and beams then again now we are going to add a uh, the rule that controls our our zones so that they cannot be seen uh, in a different uh, representation in our drawing so here we are going to edit this rule and remove the few background pen and also the few type and we add again the zone view empty and the cover view is empty then after having done this, you can simply now hit OK and it will change the representation of your drawing. So in the case of, of such uh, results, now you can go back again and correct. So in this case, let's separate the elevation marker rule and the section marker rule so that they can have different their own settings so you can go back again to graphic overrides then you edit this row and you can let it represent the section and then we remove the criteria for our elevation from here then we create a new set that will represent now uh, 
elevations. So for our elevations, we don't require any fuel type or background fuel. Then now let's hit OK and see add our elevation marker and check the result. And now we have uh, adjusted all the representation of the line weights for every element in our drawing without having to change them each individually so in this case showing this showing you can simply select all those and go to door settings and remove uh, the few on your doors so you uncheck the use of fuels and simply hit OK and this result will be corrected. So this is how you use uh, graphic overrides to control the fuels of the elements that are included in your drawing. So for you to access uh, this graphic override settings uh, from this tutorial you can follow the link below and also if you want to i have access to more of ms beam resources just follow the link in the just follow the the link in the description below and also in the future uh, make sure to subscribe to our patreon account and you can have access to more of these video tutorials and thank you for watching.